Hello, welcome to CGTN live streaming here. We are now in Wuzhen. And uh, in the next few hours, we, I and my colleague Li Jianhua will bring you the latest about how people in eastern part of China celebrate the new year. And this is a 1,300 year history Asian water town. As we can see, water can be seen in every part of this uh, Asian town. And uh, this town is also called the the uh, Venice of the East. And uh, here today, I'm very glad to be joined by Zhou Li Hui, uh, the Chief Cultural Officer of Wuzhen Scenic Zone. And in the next few hours, uh, we will explore this Asian town first, and then I will hand over to my colleague Li Jianhua, who will take the rest part of this uh, uh, live streaming. Okay. And we are live streaming at different social media platforms in our CGTN Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, as well we Weibo. If you have any question, you can give us a comment or question. We'll try to answer your question. So, Li Hui, yes. you have been here for several years. Yes, uh, what right. impressed you most about this New Year celebration? Um, that's about uh, most unique. Yeah. Which part, what, what uh, impressed you the, most? The local festivals activities. Like this? Yeah, like this. So this is a floating water market. Or yes, right, right. So, you know, in the old times, the people from the local villagers nearby uh -huh. still gather here to sell local products, and you can see fish, and also you will see the rice uh, wine. Rice, yes, yes, I didn't and, uh, wine. And Wujian was called the Asian water town, yes, and right. uh, people come here to celebrate the New Year, Chinese Lunar New Year. Because of the pandemic, we know that last year, yeah. Wujian has saw very few tourists, oh, but right. this year, as the pandemic is uh, basically controlled here in China, and a lot of tourists have come to uh, from nearby cities have come here to yes. enjoy and celebrate the spring festival. As we can see, there are many uh, hundreds of uh, tourists from nearby cities have come here to celebrate the spring festival. Because of the uh, traffic control and the tourists uh, here, uh, people from other provinces may not come here. But yeah. from nearby cities, they can come here, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. Totally are from Zhejiang and Jiangsu province. From Zhejiang and Jiangsu province. Yes, they are not far away from here. Uh, they can come here by car. Okay. Maybe from Hangzhou city, just two hours. Yeah, yes. because today is the third day of the New Year Spring Festival holiday, and tourists have come here with their family members. They are coming to enjoy the very beautiful scenery, as well in taste the local uh, snacks. And uh, talking about the Wuzhen, uh, you have been here for almost six years, right? Yes, right, and, right. And uh, every year there will be a lot of uh, celebrating activities, right? And right. Uh, also a lot of local cultures are displayed right. to attract more tourists. Right. As you can see on the right side, we will see one of the most ah. fam famous activities. The sugar, sugar painting. Right, right. Sugar painting. You can see. The main material is brown, uh, brown sugar, uh, white sugar, and with uh, wheat sugar. Ah. So they need to boil it until it, until it can be used for casting. The sugar can be turned into different Shape. shapes, right, like right. these animals, the butterflies, and other animals, right? It's very cute and must be very tasty. <laughs> yes. Okay. And also, uh, because we know Silk is very famous in eastern part of China, yeah. especially in Hangzhou and uh, here in Wuzhen. We can right. see a lot of silk worms are made into different animals or right. cultural products. And also you can see the smell. Yeah, the fruits, different fruits. Yes, it's right. Because Wuzhen has enjoyed for some years about how to make silk. So this kind of cocoon painting is mm. also so famous and important in Wuzhen. Uh. And also this paper cutting, and we can see that these craftsmen are now making paper cutting. That's a cat? It's a cat, yes. Yes, so cute. You can do a cow? Can you make a Can you make an ox? Because okay, this year is the year of the ox, yes. and uh, people are celebrating the year with different forms of activities. You can see just a uh, simple paper, wow. but uh, the master can make to a uh, core. Uh, uh -huh. Sorry, core, right. 
And guys, we are now live streaming here in Wuzhen. And uh, if you have any question about Chinese Lunar New Year, you can leave us a comment, a question. This craftsman is now making a paper carding of ox because this year is the traditional Lunar New Year of ox and people are now celebrating the New Year across the nation. Because of the pandemic, many people are encouraged to stay put, yes. but in major cities like Zhejiang and other big cities, people can still go to their, uh, within their provinces. Wuzhen is one of the hottest tourist sites in the eastern part of China. Right, right. And also, uh, our Wuzhen, we pay more attention to the uh, local culture. So you can see, during this festival time, you will see different kinds of traditional activities. Wow. Oh, you can see? It just right. takes a few time yeah. we make a few uh, minutes. Orc. And right, this right. beautiful lady just made us an uh, ox. Yeah, she is beautiful. So she is a beautiful <laughs> sign. <Sarah. Is> that <laughs> yeah. me? Yes, right? <laughs> Paper cutting has a long history here in China, and uh, she just used a scissor and uh, a, a paper and made this ox. And also, you can see the paper color is red color, right? Mm. Red color in China stands for happiness and good yes. luck. Yes, happy New Year, happy Chinese yes, New Year. Yes, right, right. Oh, it's very. Uh, it looks very real. Vivid. <laughs> Vivid. Yes. Cute. Vivid. I think it's difficult for me to make the org. Yeah. You should do it. So this lady just uh, learned to make this kind of paper carding for almost 20 years. Can she share that? She learned this skill from her grandmother. So. I want to. I want to ask a question. Is what is the reason why you want to learn this art? Because I really like it. As a little girl, I just feel very proud. Very proud, right? Yes. This is also part of the Chinese culture. Paper cutting is a very traditional culture for China. Yes. It takes just a few minutes to make it. 准确地把握住一个形象 You need years of practice and training to make this ox make this paper cutting Wow, very very vivid Yes Okay, thank you Happy New Year Happy New Year Happy New Year And also this sketch I think this painter is now making this kind of character sketch Yes just and uh, he can thing. draw this boy with a pencil. Right. It's also very vivid. Vivid. Yeah. And uh, this is a floating market, and people can enjoy their local food. snacks and food, and also tea because tea also very famous here. Right. in eastern part of China. Yes, usually here the most, uh, most famous tea is green sesame tea, a flower tea. Flower tea. Yes, right. And also we can see there is a singer here and he's preparing to sing right here. This is a floating market and people from across the Zhejiang province can come here to enjoy this uh, ancient water town. And uh, because Wuzhen. I think the best way to travel Wuzhen is by boat. So today we have the chance to travel the Asian town by boat, right? Right, right. Okay. That's okay. the schooling boat. Okay. So, so I first. To you. Okay. So this is a Latin okay. boat. Okay. Oh. It's a little bit okay. difficult to. Okay. So I will okay. sit here. Okay, stay put. I will sit here. Yes. So we can talk. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come here. So that is a schooling boat. 
Chinese name. Schooling boat. Yeah, it's a Chinese name. We call it Yao Lu. Yao Lu. Yao Lu. Yeah, you can see the oars. Ah. You can see the oars. So, you can see the oars. How many boats are there in this uh, Wuzhen? Maybe 160. Ah. Yeah, 160. So, uh, during this uh, New Year festival, a lot of tourists have come here to enjoy the beauty, beautiful scenery of this Asian water town by taking a boat with right. their family members yeah. and relatives. They can enjoy the water town because this town has over 1,300 years of history and every family used to have a dock, right? Yes. Because yes, this yes. waterway is part of the uh, Beijing-Hangzhou Grand Canal. Right. That is one of the oldest man-made waterway in the world right and right. Uh, this uh, grand canal is very famous in china and across the world people use this uh, waterway to ship goods and to connect their waterways with the rest of the world so in the past the wujian people used to uh, have this uh, Grand Canal and use this Grand Canal to ship their goods to the rest of the world, like the rice, like the wine, and also the tea and other products. Right, and also you can see the blue grass fabric. Mm -hmm. You can see left side blue grass fabric. Also, uh, and also, because Wu Zhen enjoys one song three hundred years, so mm. it is in Tang Dynasty. Tang Dynasty. Yes, right. Ah. Tang Dynasty, and all the building is from uh, Ming, uh, Qing Dynasty. Sorry. As we can see, the water in this waterway is very, quite clear, and there are a lot of fish, actually, and White tourists fish. are now feeding the fish. As you can see, there are a lot of fish. Which means the quality of this waterway is quite good. Uh, yeah, it's so good. Uh, usually, this water we can drink. Really? Yeah. You yeah, can yeah. drink the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, right here. Uh, the level, the level ah. is we can drink. So okay. So, uh, you have been here for many years. Right. So how about the uh, uh, protection about the Asian town? Protection. Ah, yeah. yes. Because in the past, uh, in, we know that uh, there are. Uh, the tourism is now part of this uh, water town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I know that. But, uh, but now you know, in the old time, mm. all the local residents will put the bushing inside the water, right? Really? Yes. In old time. In, in the old, old time, time people just threw away the rubbish. The Not rubbish. They were washing the clothes. Uh, they wash also, the clothes in this uh, waterway. Yes, and also drink. Mm. But now we uh, we didn't put the pollution water into mm. the river, so you can see the water is so clean, and then also the tea, and also you can see the fish in the water. We can make company. a tea, right? Yes, Cup of yes, tea. we can make a tea. That's a famous tea, Chrysanthemum tea. Oh, sorry, the, my mistake. This is a brown this tea. Is a, uh, brown uh, okay, tea. this is brown tea. Yes, yeah, sorry. And uh, sipping a cup of tea in this boat and enjoy the beautiful scenery is part of the celebration for the Chinese Lunar New Year in the eastern part of China. As we can see, there are a lot of boats in the waterway and uh, people are just enjoying their spring festival because last year, due to the pandemic, yeah. people just stay at home. They cannot come out and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Right, so this year, you know, China China is so safe, so there are some people... Because China has uh, yeah. been uh, taking the pandemic under control and uh, people, more people are now coming out to enjoy the Spring Festival. Yeah, cheers. Right. <laughs> okay, cheers. Happy New Year, because Happy New Year. Uh, we have seven days of New Year a holiday here in the eastern part of uh, in the across China right. and the people have come here so over the past year you have seen very few tourists right here right uh, uh yeah, in, yeah 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 uh, at the uh you know uh, before the you know before the covid 19 mm. there are so many people come here but mm. but now last year this year there are less people coming mm. so the uh, due to the pandemic the tourist number have been declined dramatically and uh, people are just encouraged to stay put but now yeah. as the uh, pandemic is gradually controlled as we can see more and more tourists are coming out and enjoy the scenery and food
and also we know that uh, uh, this is the year of the ox and yeah, people like how many what, what other activities are there in the Wujian water town you know in festival time yeah, during the spring festival uh, we have the you know we have the boat the, also mm -hmm. the boat to celebrate ox year mm -hmm. uh, here and also we have we will have some lo local activities like uh, what you will see later you will <laughs> see there are there are uh, four guards four uh, guards so, uh, for gods yeah for gods like fulu shou xi yeah yeah right right uh, they will shou xi what uh, the four ancient gods yes yes for different wishes Fu uh, represents happiness no fortune a uh, fortune yeah but lu means fortune pro no prosperity prosperity yes and right. show longevity longevity yes. and she happiness, happiness. Yes, so that's Fu, right. Shou, Xi, and uh, these four gods of ancient china will uh, tour the ancient wooden yeah, water town and uh, to give blessings to the tourists and other asian people right right and then you will give some candies really yeah yeah, yeah. you will oh. get you will get candies We'll get candies? Yes. You know in China, candy also stands for sweet. Mm -hmm. So it tastes the sweet, so that's for happiness. Okay. So uh, guys, we are now live streaming here in the Wuzhen water town of eastern part of China. And uh, today is the third day um, of this uh, spring festival holiday. And uh, people, more tourists from across Zhejiang province are now coming out to enjoy the spring festival. As we can see, more tourists are taking the boat and celebrate the new year with their families and relatives. Yeah, yes, that's right. And I also now before we are taking on the boat, so I want to introduce one of one of the old building. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know that the Chinese name we call the Shui Ge. But the English name we call the water attic. Maybe you can also call water chamber. Mm. So everybody, you can see there is a, a half of a building. You can mm. see a half of a building is above the water, like this. Yes. Yeah. So you know this this river is a branch of Hangzhou Beijing Great Canal. So mm. in the old time, the local residents just open the window. Open the window and uh, buy the vegetables. Buy the vegetables yep. and fruits you yeah, want. Yeah, 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 yes, right, right. You can see uh, here in the different docks, people are now yes, that's celebrating the with their children, their family members. This is different restaurants. Right. Oh, that dock is the public dock. On my it's a public side. dock. Yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, in the old time, if you live near the water, mm. you are from the poor family. So if they want to get outside, they need to go to the public dock mm. to wait for the boat. So there are public docks and also private docks. Yes, right. Some right. rich families have their private docks. Uh, uh, rich, rich family. Mm. So later when we get off the boat, that's the rich. You from Xinjiang. Ah, these families are from Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Okay. I thought most of the tourists are coming from places near Hangzhou, near yeah. Wuzhen. Right. But this family comes from Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. That's, that's quite a little bit far. Yeah, a lot of far away place. Yeah. So, because of the pandemic, I think uh, yeah. this holiday some say uh, this place needs um, COVID-19 test, a negative test result. Is still needed? Uh, yeah, it's still needed. So this uh, scenic zone still needs, uh, if people from some high level or, or mid level of this uh, COVID-19 affected areas, they need the COVID-19 test. Yeah, 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 right, right, okay. right. And also the green code, you know, the mm. yeah, our, remember? QR code. Yeah, 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 sorry, QR code, oh. yeah, right. And also the temperature is must lower than 37. Mm, the body temperature, yeah, yeah, right, you right. need to be healthy. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, we know there are many bridges in this Wuzhen water town. Right. I heard that there are over 72 right. bridges in yeah. this uh, part of this Wuzhen. Right, right. That is one of the famous. 
which what is the name? Master Wing. Master Wing. Yeah, Ding Shen. Ding Shen Bridge. Ding Shen Shen. Ding Shen. Yeah, Shen Shang Shu Shen. Ding Shen Master Wing. Shen bridge. Yes, yes. What's the meaning of this bridge? You know, the the local boy before before she go to school, she、mm -hmm. will hold on cake. And going through the bridge, that means he will have a good future. Future,、mm. sorry, future. Has a good future. Yes. So, so different bridges have different meanings. Right. But right, most right. of them, all of them, are have、uh, prosperous, have some positive meanings for yeah, these people,、yeah. local people. Right, 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 right. It stands for something different. Stands for different、yeah. meanings. Yes, different bridge, different name, different meaning. But、mm -hmm. all of the meaning are good. This bridge is so famous. So every visitor come here, they must do things. The first must do things is walking, walking this bridge. Walking on this bridge. Right, right, right. I heard that uh, uh, according to the cultures in the southern part of China,、uh, during festivals, people will have a lantern in their hands and also walk across these bridges. It will bring the good luck. Right, 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 sir. Doing the Latin festival. Latin festival、yes. and also Happy New Year and the Mid Autumn festival. I mean, all the festivals. Chinese people always believe good luck. Everything、mm. stands for good luck. Yes, we need good luck, especially、um, during the difficult times. Right, right, right. Oh, also that bridge is a、uh, uh, very famous, famous one. Yes, we call Yudu Bridge. Yudu Bridge. Yes, there's one famous Chinese word we call the Qing Gen Yudu. That means sunny right, day、mm. is walk. Sunny day is walking day. You、mm. need to walk in the field. Okay. The rainy day is reading day. So you need to read the books.、Mm. Because you can see there is a, sh a you can、uh, sit down. And then also read the book to your right side. That's we do for it. So we are now sitting in a boat in the Wuzhen town. We will park in the Shengting dock of this Wuzhen water town. Because、yes. my colleague Li Jianhua is waiting there, and I will hand over to him. He will continue to explore this ancient water town and bring you more customs of how people celebrate the Spring Festival here. Yes, I'm. I'm looking forward to stay with Jianhua. <laughs> really, he is handsome. <laughs> Okay. Yes, he is handsome. Also,、oh, so you are handsome too. Okay, so you you want,、uh, and、uh, we see that there are many boats coming towards us. Yes, right, right, schooling boat. And also, you will see. I saw、so, a young couple is standing in one of the boats. Yeah. Oh, that's the fast. That's the festival activity. That's wow, one of the major、yes. festival activities. Yes, right, right. And also, you can see because we are war town, so all of the things are shipped by boat. So you、mm. can see the quilt.、Mm. So if you live here, all the luggage you can ship inside or outside by the boat. So it's convenient to stay here. So. People used this waterway to ship goods, to welcome their family members or guests, and also、yes. welcome these、uh, different goods. Yes, right, right. As we can see that、uh, there is a very beautiful boat coming towards us. Yes, maybe. And a young couple is standing in front of the boat, and、uh, they are now waving to tourists and guests. Sending the best wishes. Why a young couple or these two people are standing in the boat? What's、they、the were, meaning of this?、Uh, this you can see they wear the low, uh, uh, the traditional clothes and waving to others, just uh, uh, say the good wish, uh, uh, celebrate and also、uh, make a good wish to others.、Mm. You can see the lady said Happy New Year. Yeah. 新年好 ，Happy New Year！ 
and you can see the local clothes. Yeah, they are wearing the local clothes yes. and uh, sending the best wishes to the local people and tourists. And it's uh, <laughs> the happy songs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, this boat will float across the whole water yes. town. Yes, the, the whole the whole water river. There are over a hundred boats like this, and uh, family members and relatives are now sitting in to tour this Wuzhen. Yes, right. And they usually, uh, the night view of Wuzhen is so beautiful. So uh, until night, we also have boat. Mm -hmm. So uh, if it is available, it can depend on your time. Mm -hmm. So people could come here to take the boat either by day or by night. Yes, right, right. And the night is a, a little... The night view is also very beautiful, right? Yes, a little bit different from daytime. Uh -huh. Yes, you will see the light. Which part of Fujian impress you most is your favorite? Because it's so... You know, I love the uh, local culture. I love... The local culture? Yes, it's the ancient things. So mm -hmm. I think here it stands for ancient. So I love here. And also, I love to introduce different Chinese culture to different people from different countries. Mm. Maybe. So I'm you have been talking to a lot of uh, tourists from across the world. Yes, right. They must be very interested in these kind of cultures. Yes, yes. And through my introduction of Wuzhen, they will know about Chan Chinese, China. Chinese history. Yes, right. So, so it makes me so proud of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sitting in a boat and sipping a cup of tea. Yes. That's one of the very beautiful memories right. here in Wuzhen. Yes. And also it's... Because we know Wuzhen is also the home of the uh, famous Wuzhen Theater Festival uh, and also World Internet Conference. Right. Annual, annually there will be a World Internet Conference held in Wuzhen. Right. And, right. Uh, uh, before the pandemic, I think in the past three years, All right. a lot of uh, world famous internet companies will come here to take this opportunity to talk about the latest developments of internet. Right, right. There are so many famous people come here. But last year, due to the pandemic, the conference was suspended, right? Right, right. And also, theater festival also suspended. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, yes, this, the theater festival was not open last year because of the COVID. Mm -hmm. But this year, we hopefully will have a theater festival and also the World Internet Conference. Yeah, I hope so, <laughs> but I'm not sure. I hope so. Because I love the theater festival. It's so interesting. You can see all the drummers plays all around the street. Mm -hmm. And also we have seven to eight theaters inside, you can buy the tickets to mm. see the, uh, to see the, the uh, place uh, all over the country. So every year there will be a theater festival and also a world internet conference held here in Wuzhen Water Town. And uh, because of the pandemic, these two major activities were suspended in Wuzhen. But this year, um, if the pandemic is basically controlled here. Uh, we hope that more people can come here to have a better understanding of this place and also the theater and the internet conference. I think we can, we can <laughs> wait. I think, it, I think it, this year we will hold. Okay, so we are now in the Shengting Dock in the water, Wuzhen Water Town. And, uh, and I will hand over to my colleague Li Jianhua, who is now waiting here to continue to bring you more about the customs and cultures about this water town. Wow. Hello, Jiang Hello. <laughs> so, so oh, yeah. I will hand it over to you, and you will continue to explore this water town. Yeah, of course. Thank you so, so much. Good luck.
Good. Thank you so much. Walk a little bit more. Okay, Zhou Hui, right? And then I'll be watching you guys. Li Hui, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be watching you guys just now on the waterways, on the boat. It was beautiful. And then how do you feel about it so far? Oh, come over. I would like to interview you first. Okay, yeah. yeah. How was the you trip? Can. Yeah. I would like to pick it up from here. I'm going to take it over, but how was the we trip? We have uh, just... Uh, came across the whole river about this water town. It's very beautiful. This is a part of the Hangzhou-Beijing Grand Canal, and it serves a very different functionals. In the past, it was for the goods, but now it's for just for tourism. Yeah. We have saw a lot of tourists are coming here because the pandemic has been basically controlled here. So we are very happy, and uh, more and more tourists are coming out. Okay. Yeah, because this is the third day of the Chinese Lunar yeah. New Year. Usually people come out after visiting their families and relatives. And now, so it is time for this beautiful spring festival. And today is a little bit over cloud, I have to say, but it's very good for the, uh, you know, for the live stream. Yeah. And now you're on the right. waterways and now we are officially on the ground. So what do we have after that? We will, we will see. We will see some uh, local building. You local can, buildings. The yes, architecture style. Okay. You can see that kind of building we uh -huh. call white wall and black tile. White wall and black, black tile. Like the ceiling, the tiles. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You okay. can see the roof is black uh -huh. color. You can see the wall is white uh -huh. color. So we call it white wall, black tile. Yeah, of course, we have the aerial view in the meantime. If you yeah, want to so see right. what the architecture <laughs> style is <laughs> like, <laughs> and then they're going to see it. It's like it is black tiles, black yes, ceilings, and yes, then white right, walls, right, right. right? If you have any questions, leave your comments down. Uh, below on CGTN's social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Weibo. And we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. And Li Hui here, yeah. because she's local and also a guide around this uh, scenic zone. And she will give you all of the answers properly to your questions. Okay. And I was, I was watching you guys just now. Okay. And then there were so many comments actually. Let me see. Okay, you okay can what see do we have here? Okay. So, um, so we have got tons of comments here. So it's a happy new year. And we have got this one is Sajid Ali, Sajid Ali. Nice. And wow, I went so nice. That is from Elisa. Is that El anybody Confess. says that you are handsome? No, okay. no one says so. OK, no. but thank you so much if you think so. Of course, so it is very crowded today, especially in the afternoon. Uh, it's the Wujian scenic spot. Okay, especially the third day of the Spring Festival. It's a crowd in the packs, I have to say, yes. especially on this alley, right? Yes. Okay. No, this is not alley, this is a street. This is a street? Yes, okay. it's so our... So in the past, it used to be a street here. Yes. And now it's very much like an alley, it's quite narrow. Okay. okay. But compared with the waterways that you guys were cruising through just yes, now, right. so this place is a little bit narrow and it is packed with so many yes. tourists. And today, our first stop, I know there are so many beautiful traditions here in Fujian, especially in Eastern China. Yeah, so and right. we're going to have something new okay. or something very traditional, something very local. Right. And the first thing is, uh, what is the first thing? First thing I want to, uh, I want to introduce one word. You can see here, can you see here? That's the word Fu. Uh -huh. And it means the Fu Chen. Fu, yeah, yeah. Fu Chen. It's you a know. Chinese knot. Chinese? Yeah, it's a Chinese, Chinese knot. I mean, the... Uh, what do we call it the handicraft. Okay, if you yes, turn the cameras yes, around, yes, you can yes, see the, the beautiful guards. mascots walking around the alleys or the streets, as you yes. said. And then, they, what, what do they mean? Oh, this stands for uh, oh. longevity. Longevity, and this Have, one is fortune. Yes, it's so yep. it is uh, very much like a trick or treat. Yes, <laughs> during right. the Halloween. Okay. Yes, I love and it. You love it. And yes, it's sweet. You it? know, when you eat. A eat uh, this kind of candy, you will uh -huh. feel happy. You will feel happy. Yeah, yeah because, because it's sweet. A, yeah, so it is the uh, traditional Chinese character C here, yes, right. which means happy, happy and of fortune and prosperity, yes. anything that is uh, related to yes. the beautiful things, the right, elements. Right. Okay, that's lovely. I want to have this sweet now, but but during the live stream, yes, probably no. Maybe after later. That. Okay, because I know that's later, yeah. probably in about five minutes walk, and we are going to visit the first stop for today, and that's yes, going to be something right. sweet. The uh, sticky rice cake. Yes, okay. we can eat it. Have a try. Have a try. Yes, you have a try. We can show it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. And then, so, 
I love the architecture side of this building. Is so uh, wooden. You see the panels yeah, and also yeah, the windows. Yeah, right. You can see the animal. You can see the animal. That's a bat. It's a bat. Yes. Yeah. Usually, the bat is you know a uh, fall down, fall down like this. That means happiness is coming. Okay. So we can see a bat, and this one is upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So because upside down in the Chinese culture it means, I mean, in the Chinese language, it also means arrives something yeah. like that. So yeah, you usually right. have this upside down. That's over there, and that means we're gonna have the uh, fortune is arriving. Right, okay. right, right. It's just still very crowded today. Yes. It's just, it's a because it's a festival, it's a very festival. So, compared with the uh, past years before the pandemic, there were yeah. so many tourists. I know back in 2019, there were over 9 million trips made to Wujian back then. Yes. And now, yeah, because of the pandemic, especially during the Spring Festival, the uh, number of tourists actually has drastically reduced. Yes, right, right. But okay. because uh, here it's under good, good management, so we have already controlled it well. Uh -huh. So uh, during this festival, you can see some visitors mm -hmm. uh, nearby from Zhejiang and Jiangsu province come here to enjoy festival time. Okay. So it's very crowded, so we have to shovel our way through. Yes, you know, okay. Elbow your way through during the spring yes. festival. And Mount, mountain people, mountain sea. Yeah, we, yeah, we say that in Chinese. It's very much like Chinese. Mountain yes. people, mountain sea. <laughs> uh, basically, it means a sea of people. Yes, sea so of people. Crowd okay. is packed. Sorry, and this is, I just make a joke. <laughs> okay, so this is the first stop. Yes. This is the first stop we would like to visit, and that is the sticky rice cake place, right? Yes, okay. right. We you see, people are waiting in line. Yes, yeah, waiting they're around. Winding. Right, right. They're waiting through to get the uh, sticky rice cake. I would like to get some. Yes. Okay. So. This uh, way, uh, city sticker rice. Yeah, maybe we can move a little bit forward so that yes, we can give right. our viewers a little bit, you know, some closer look at yes. the rice cake that has been attracting visitors yes. from around the world. Yes, this is a famous. Especially in Zhejiang and Jiangsu province, it's made from uh, sticky rice and we put a little bit inside. And you can see the shape looks like a flower. Uh -huh. Usually we call it a lucky cake. We call it a lucky cake, so yes. usually people would have that during the spring festival yes, to get right. more luck. Yes, Okay. Co hold on it going through okay. the village, good luck. Uh, okay, so let's get one. Let's get yes, one. Yes, we can. Okay. I mean, there were so many people waiting here, I mean, in queue, but the thing is we have very limited time, so we talked to them before we got started, so that we can get a rice cake. We have ordered a rice cake before we got started, so I don't want to jump the line, but it will save us some time. Hello. Thank you. This sticky also can eat. Okay. Yeah. So I've got the uh, sticky rice cake. Yes, right. There are so many people, I can't believe uh, it. Because yeah. every shop is different, so, so you can only see one GC rice cake shop mm -hmm. here. So I came here yesterday, and uh, it was uh, more crowded, I <laughs> have to say, but not so many people actually were waiting in line. And I've got the rice cake here, and yeah, so. Once again, I didn't jump the line because we ordered the cake first. Okay. Yeah. And I would okay. like to try that. Could you help me? Yes. Okay. okay. So it's very much like a flower, as you said. Yes. And, and also, you can see this uh, green and pink stuff. And what yeah. is that? Yes, that's one of the local uh, uh, stock stuff. Uh huh. Yes. Local stuff. I think yes. it's something like uh, like dressing, like for salad. You yes, have salad right, dressing. Yes, right, right. Right. And this thing is supposed to be sweet. And if you open it. If you crack it and yes. say, this is a red bean paste. Yes, okay. red bean inside. I'm, I'm gonna try. It. This mm. one you can you can eat. Mm. Yeah, a little bit sweet, but not so sweet. Yeah. So yeah, it is very sweet, I have to say, and then mostly because of the uh, rice bean paste inside, and also I like the design or the f it's very much like a flower yes, right. okay and this is rice a uh, sticky rice cake so yes. it's very different from the flower like not, not the flower like a flower but like yes, the uh, ingredients like. okay. and also this cake is so famous because it hello 
Okay, so this is one of the Chinese gods, actually. Yes, yes, longevity. Yeah. Longevity god. Yes. Okay, if you pray to the longevity god, you get longevity. Yeah, you okay. will live longer. <laughs> I will live longer. There are all together how many, how many of them actually? How many gods during the Spring Festival in Wujian? Maybe four or five. Four or five. Yes. Um, four or five. So we have got longevity and also fortune. Yes. And also happiness. Happiness. And okay. also prosperity. And prosperity. Yes. Okay. But but we cannot everything we can get, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So five of them, they are they're walking through the alleys and people can take pictures. Yes, of them, right. or take a selfie with them, selfie worthy spot. Yes, okay. right, and also get some candy. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't think I can finish this uh, sticky rice cake. Probably someone could help me handle it. And then we're going to have that later. Yes. Okay. That's lovely. Can, can, can someone help me with it? Okay. I'm going to hand it to my uh, producer and we're going to have this rice cake after the live show. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, when I come to a place like this, a scenic spot, especially that features very traditional Chinese culture. Yes. Always through the snacks and also some traditional handicrafts, right? Yes, Happy right. New Year. <laughs> and there you There's so, so many well. people today. A little bit crowded. Yeah. But, but you, when you come here, uh -huh. especially in Spring Festival, you will see that you uh -huh. You will enjoy the time, enjoy time here because uh -huh. you can see different kinds of uh, spring festival activities, and uh -huh. you can enjoy it, and you can do some local activities. Uh -huh. Such as next schedule, we will we will go to making the lantern. You know, we're, we're gonna make some lanterns, right? Yes, lantern. I know lantern plays a very important role. Yes. in the uh, oh. local culture here, oh. right? Yes, right? Because usually I see some people carrying lanterns and walking across the and ask the bridge, right? right? Which means you can ward off the evil spirits yes, and right. hope for probably a prosperous new year right. of right. the ox. Yes. <laughs> and that's with the lantern. Yes. There are so many of them. Yes. Okay. So that's one of the famous writings. And what is that? I don't know how to say in English. It's called Zhou Ma Deng. Zhou Ma Deng? Yes. Zhou Ma Deng. So literally, if you translate from Chinese into English, literally that means a walking horse lantern. Yeah, and maybe. then what do you do with it? And then so that pe we can put into perspective so people understand yes, what that because, is. Because it can move and when you move, you can see you can see the picture. There are so many people hold down lantern uh -huh. going through the bridge. So that stands for happiness and good okay. luck. Okay, so that is the walking horse lantern. Yes. Yeah, so that is what the locals call it. Yes, okay, that's right, lovely. Right. Thank you so much. And then, of course, for the next step, speaking of lanterns, um, today I'm going to try how to make lanterns. Yes, right, okay. right. And this is one of the places we move yes. the cameras above us. Okay, up there you can see so many lanterns featuring different yes. colors. Okay, that is China. Yes. Very beautiful. So we're going to move in. That is a traditional China. Hello. 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 Yes. Now we are going to make the okay. lantern. So today I'm going to make some lanterns over here. Okay. And there are so many tourists who do that here. Yes. And, and this is part of the Chinese culture. Yes. Okay. So first of all, we need to introduce the material. You will see this. Yes. And also you will see some papers. Okay. These papers. So this is the lantern paper. Like this. Lantern paper is see-through. Okay, yes. so that who illuminates more. Yes. Okay, in the dark. Yes, I and know. then so we're gonna make it. This yes. is. Uh, so Different. what is the? Yeah, what's the? I mean, the lanterns in China. Yes. Especially right. this is southern China, eastern China is very different from the northern parts, right? Yes. In the north, usually you have. Uh, is this the, I mean, the lantern, the outside of it is usually made of plastic. And then, so here we usually have some paper lanterns. Yes, we okay. usually made from paper. Okay, so let's try. Yes, yeah, so okay. you can try it. Okay. Yeah, you can see the rabbit. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So this is the rabbit. Yes. They have already made the, uh, I mean, the main structure of this lantern. I think right. this is for a kid. Yes, for <laughs> children. And okay. you can see that's a paper, and also you will uh, see this uh, bamboo stick here. Uh -huh. Yes, we will use this one too. Let me sit down. Yes. 
Okay, so this is a rabbit, yes. and they have already almost finished it. This is tentative, I have to call it. <laughs> and they have the bamboo sticks over here. Oops. And then, so for the final touch, I'm gonna have this rabbit here. It makes me remember my childhood time. Okay, so you do you know, try to use to make some lanterns like this, right? Yes, okay. but I cannot make so beautiful. So basically, we need to dab some glue all over the uh, body of this rabbit, the paper rabbit is over here, and then we're going to glue the paper here, it's tassels, it's very much like rabbit's hair, okay, all over the body, I'm gonna yeah, I'm going to try it. Okay, can you help me? Yes, yeah, okay. 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 That's a local stick. Lo it smells like ink. Ink, okay. uh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, rice. Okay. Rice, it's rice, made of, uh, rice. Something like rice paste. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 So it's not only, so it's basically not only the bamboo sticks, the structure, all we call it, we call it the skeleton over here, but also the body, like the lantern paper over here. Okay. Okay. Only the upper body of the uh, rabbit. Okay. Thank you so much for holding the mic for me. I'm doing this. And then, so this is the first step. And after that, we're going to have some rabbit here that is made of paper tassels over here. Mm. And this is a. Uh, Maybe I can try it? Yeah, you can try it. Okay. So we can make it faster. Okay, I can try it. So basically, we're saying that we can do it like layer after layer. Okay. Oh, you're the Hello. I don't think rabbits could be so hairy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you cut it out. Okay. And then we need to have another round for that. Probably more glue. Okay. Maybe I can help. I'm gonna have more glue over here. On the back of it. Okay. It's like a student's project. I think it's so interesting. Have you ever been to the States before when you are a child? No. No? Never, never done this before. So this is your first yeah, time? Yeah, this is my first time to do a, a lantern, a rabbit lantern. So you have so many first time in Wuzhen, I think. Yeah, there were so many first actually. Yeah. It's, a, it's a water town, it's very beautiful. And yeah. it's also very crowded. But for crowded point, I can deal with that, I can cope. And then, so, okay. So for this is the third layer. Yes, yeah, the third layer. This is the third layer. And then I think that is almost about it. It's I'm okay. There. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I think the worker can help us. <laughs> yeah. He's professional. Yes. Okay, thank you, we'll thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And then so yeah. ah. that's it. basically the tail. Yes, so we need to do it. Oh, okay. like it. Yeah, it smells really good. It's like, 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 Hello. 
all okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna have some more. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. And then more. So bear with me. It's gonna be fast. <laughs> I'm gonna have this lantern because in the Chinese culture, especially in Wujian, you usually carry a lantern like this, and you walk across an Oster Bridge. There were there were over seventy Oster Bridges. Yeah, yeah, city yeah, spot, right? 72, okay. 72. 72 of them, and each one is different. Yes, and every meaning of bridge are good, uh, different meaning, but still different meaning stands uh, good luck. Okay. Yes, all of the meaning. So they have different names? Yeah, different names. Okay. Different name, different meaning. Okay. Different names, different meanings, and different connotations. Yes. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. Yeah, because this place is a crisscross bridge waterway, so there should be. I'm not surprised there are so many arch bridges. Okay. Okay. Almost there. So that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. basically the end of it. But, but inside, yeah. Yeah, because this is a lantern. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes. And this one. Yes. <laughs> So cute! Yeah, it's like I was cheating just now. Just yes, now you are a bigger children. <laughs> okay, and then there is this light inside, built inside, and then yeah, it's a light turn inside. It on. Yeah, turn it on. Okay. Now put it inside, it will be beautiful. and and you can hold it. And is it turning green right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's purple. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. So it is not only the uh, Chinese Spring Festival, but also the. Uh, Lantern festival. This is a lantern festival. Yes. That is why it's called Lantern Festival. And especially when it comes to the lunar Chinese New Year seasons, it's very long. It's about two weeks long. So right. you can have this lantern maze and then you can use it all through two weeks. Yes. Okay, that's lovely. Can I take it away? <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it off. Thank you. Happy New Year. Maybe okay. I can help you hold. Okay. Thanks yes. a lot. The that's her. Okay. I love this. That's so a cute. That's a keeper. Yes. <laughs> now I'm a child. Okay. So before we move on, let's see what we have for the comments, maybe. Yes. Let's okay. See what we have here. You can see. Okay. Can uh, you ask some questions? Yeah, I think so. Let me see what do they have here. Yeah, the internet is a little bit hectic, I'm afraid, because of so many tourists. And that is, um, hi, nice, thank you. That is from Luia Fata. And Facebook, and also we have got Vicky Boss. Hopefully, I have pronounced your name correctly on Facebook, and that okay. is good. Like, good video. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. And then, so if you have any questions about the Chinese Spring Festival or the Lantern, just leave us a comment. Yeah. Okay. And then, sorry for the next stop, and we are going to the wedding museum. The wedding museum. Yes, okay. right. So you what about the wedding museum? And this is one of the stops that we have to make during the spring festival because what is it? Oh, you mean the wedding museum? Yeah, the wedding museum. In, in the old time, usually uh -huh. uh, we will have, you know, mm -hmm. the girl and the boy mm -hmm. get married. The girl's family will pr prepare, uh, prepare the mm -hmm. wedding gifts, uh -huh. like silk quilts. I like the dowry. Yes, yeah, the dowry. The dowry. Yes, right. Okay. So if you prepare so much dowry, uh -huh. that means the lady's family is rich. Okay. Yes. So right. that depends on your dowry. If yeah. you have a good dowry. Yes. Okay. And then that means you are from a rich family. And we've got yes. some comments that is on YouTube, Jamila Mitchell, and that is the waterways are brilliant. The ancients were so forward looking, and great stuff. That is uh, okay. While you guys were still on a boat. And that is also YouTube that is anchored to this video is a great idea for those of us who can't travel to China because of COVID-19 restrictions, keep it safe. But next okay. time you can come. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For, I mean for visitors from outside China. So because of the travel restrictions, not only uh, outside China, but also within this country, it's not easy to travel around during this time of year. Yeah. Right. We need to make sure that the uh, coronavirus is contained effectively. Yes. And also called that is the Shen S Y on YouTube. China has got so many pumps, beautiful, clean waterway. Okay. Yes. Thank you right. so much. 
Okay, oh, so for the next step. On my left side, that is one of the famous food in Wuzhen. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the mutton noodle. Mutton. Yes, mutton noodle. Mutton noodles. Yes, we will prepare. Uh, we will prepare yeah. the yeah. noodles. Prepare the mutton with. Uh huh. Uh, with, oh, sorry, with the sugar cane. Uh, sugar cane. Yes, okay. and also, and also the date. And date. also the date. date yes, okay. cook it together and a little bit sweet. A little bit sweet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know that is uh, the southern part of China. You love something or everything sweet. Yes, yeah. right. I like sweet something a little bit savory and salty. Yes. Okay, that's good. Let's see what other comments we have here on Facebook. Okay. And this is CGTN, we're broadcasting live yeah, in the here. eastern Chinese city of Wuzhen, which is uh, one of the most famous water towns in China. And now the tourists are gathering here in this very small town uh, during the Spring Festival. If you have any comments, please leave your comments down below on Facebook or YouTube, Twitter, Weibo, and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. Okay. Yes. I, mm. uh -huh. I'm confident that I can ask, I can answer every question. Yeah, you can. You can yes. answer every question because you have been working here for six years. Yeah, so right. We have got this comment uh, that is uh, Suhil Gare on yes, Facebook yes. that is looking beautiful, your rabbit. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the other people from other place also uh -huh. can come here to make uh, a light like this one. Yeah, of course. Yes. A lantern. Now this one is very different. So yes. it's for a kid. Usually the lanterns are round, yeah, a rectangular, right. like a yes. cube. Yes, okay. like a cube. Uh -huh. Both adults and children can make lanterns. Both for adults and children. Yeah, they yes, can make right, lanterns. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, help me keep the lantern. I'm going to use the lantern later after the uh, live stream show. Yes. I'm going to walk across that and yes. watch the bridge, and that will bring me good fortune. Yes. Some people are taking pictures over here. That's a beautiful place. I mean, Wujian is quite a self-worthy place and tourists would just stop anywhere and then take a picture. That would yes. be a beautiful view. Yes, okay. every site is different and Every beautiful. site is different. Okay, and this is the... Uh, the wedding museum. The wedding museum. Yes, okay. the wedding museum. We uh -huh. can see around. This is the wedding museum. So. I mean, when it comes to the culture here, oh, someone is uh, live streaming here. Yes, yeah, so okay. so Asian and Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Happy New Year. Okay. Yeah. So they are talking about the wedding dresses or the wedding gowns over there, yes. right? And you can pick one of them because this, oh, so I would call it, oh, this sorry, town nice. attire. I've got this one from here. Yeah, it's me too. Okay. And of course, if you come over here and then you can pick one of them and you can take some pictures around this place. Okay, so when oh. it comes to the wedding culture, it's quite different in Eastern China, Wujian, right? Yes, Especially in right. the past, this is a water town. Yes, water town. So we have the uh -huh. water town uh, wedding museum. Water uh, town wedding. wedding museum. Yes, water town. Not, uh, I mean, water town activities. How is it different? Mm, but when the lady uh -huh. still sit inside okay. the sedan. That's a sedan. Yes, and okay. the same sedan we are putting inside the boat. From the uh -huh. uh, lady's a dog, okay. from the lady's dog to the husband's dog, and it says the dog, uh, dog, dog, a dog, yes, okay. dog. Okay, and so they have this uh, docking yard for yes. each family, for each household. Yeah. So from the uh, we call it to the bride's yes. docking yard, and then to the groom's docking yard, right? Yes. And then you can sit in that. We call it a sedan. Yes. <laughs> and you one? can see the sedan is not so big because in the old time. Uh -huh. The ladies get married at early time, maybe 15. Maybe 15 years or old. Or 13. Okay, so yeah. now the uh, official line. Okay, so my cameraman it was uh, giving me a sign that you can probably walk in and then you can try it. The, me? Yeah. Okay. Let me hold your lantern. Okay, I can try. You can fit in. Okay, I can fit in. How do you feel now? Uh, I feel happy. You feel happy? Yes, I want to get married. You're getting married? Yes, I want to. I didn't get oh, you married want to get yet. Married. Yes. Okay. Yeah, probably that's your secret. Sorry. Yes, that matter. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Yes, okay. I think I can find a good husband. You can find a good husband. Yes, because I come to see the wedding museum. Ah. All of the good luck will come to me. Yeah, of course you can pray for good luck. Yes, yes, yes. And hey. then, but but it seems like you have your colors 
is, um, is wrong. It is supposed to be red for a wedding. Yes, maybe next time I will change the clothes. I will to wear the red color. Okay, thank yes. you. That's lovely. Yes. Okay. I wish I could try that, but I can't because... Uh, Do you want to try? No. A groom can't try that. No, usually a bride. Okay. So where oh. do we go? Okay, this is one I take like this is so, uh, so special. So I want to introduce, uh, you, you know, in the ancient time, uh -huh. if the lady want to choose a husband, uh -huh. it will depend on parents' desires. Okay. It's not depend on her own desires. So the, uh, the some girls, mm -hmm. one girl, beautiful lady, mm -hmm. she will stay in, uh, in this attic. Uh -huh. She will throw the embroidery ball. Embroidery, okay, yeah. embroidered ball. ball. Right? Like okay. that one. Well. So like there are so one. many men stay here who catch the ball, who will okay. be the husband of the lady. That is really random. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a really random, I have but to say. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like, like in the old times, I think. Yeah, yeah, just in the old times. Yeah, in the old times, and then so the girls wouldn't have the final yes. say as to who they would marry. Yes, so, so you can see this is for Chinese later. Uh -huh. This stands for the story of it. Okay. To throw in the uh, embroidery ball. What are the uh, Chinese characters and what? Uh, I mean, the stories after the behind that. And then? That's Pao Xiu Qiu. Okay. So you just have the four Chinese characters? Yes, they're from okay. this side to this side, right and side to left side. Okay. And then, so probably a maid, usually maiden, and then they will throw that embroidered ball from yes, the yes. attic. Yes, okay, so yes. whoever catches that would be the uh, husband. husband, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a little That's bit lovely. random. That is so uh, too random. Yes. I think there should be more stories behind that. Yes, yes, okay. yes. If, if you are interested, you can ask me. I will know more about it. Ah, yes. I love this. And also... Yeah, you can try the, uh, the clothing here. And it's a yes. Chinese dragon. I couldn't try the Chinese dragon. Because in the Chinese culture, usually the Chinese dragon in the past, especially during the Qing Dynasty, like two, two or 100 years ago, only the royal family, the emperor yeah, could have yeah. that. And, and especially for five fingers. Yeah. And so also you can see the color is yellow color. Yellow yeah. color is the old time just for the emperor. Yeah, only for the yeah, emperor. Yeah, but now everyone can try yeah, that. Yes, right, yeah. right. And also maybe you can see one word set one. Yeah. I want to introduce this letter of China because right. it's different for foreigners to remember it. So I can make a one small mm -hmm. short story. Uh -huh. You can see sight. You can see Chinese words. Left side, right side are same. C happiness. Yeah, symmetrical. Yes, yeah, symmetrical. And in the middle, there were one letter connected. Connected. Yes, you can see this letter connected. So you can remember this word very easy. You can see just uh, this is a boy, this is a mm -hmm. girl. Uh -huh. Before she, before she get married, they are from different families. Uh -huh. When she are get married, they are in the same family. Okay. So connected. Okay. Yeah, the Chinese character is uh, the traditional Chinese character, but yes. now it's different for yes. the simplified yes. version. Right. It's so. like it is symmetrical, yes. and it's like for the wedding of two different families. Yes. Okay, it's they will be joined, yes. and it's that is uh, what a wedding is about, yes. especially in China. So we need to go that way. I think that yes. is uh, going right. to be the final right. stop of our live stream yes. today. Right. Okay, so I'm going to have this lantern. Do you as want me hold now. or you? I'm going to hold it. Right. Okay. okay. So, oh, and, good so I need to carry this lantern and yeah. walk across that arched bridge, yes. which means all the good luck, fortune, prosperity, longevity, happiness, all of them to you. Okay. Okay, so that way. And that way. Yeah. This okay. bridge is name we call the Wai Xing Tiao. So that means all the good. Wai Xing Tiao. Yeah. Wai Xing. Wai Wu Fu Xing. Okay. So all. The all the good things. All the things will roll around? Yes. Okay. Or will be revived? Yes, okay. right, right. That's lovely. Okay. 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 We can come back here to see it. Okay. So now I'm on the bridge already, carrying yes. this lantern. That means I have already warded off all of the evil spirits and then there will be fortune for the coming year, the yes, year of the right, altar. Right, okay, right. that is lovely and this is such a beautiful place. And of course, I think we need to end this from here for the live stream. Yes, Thank you so right. much for staying with us for CGTN. And of course, so that is a, such a sunny day. And it was a little bit cloudy over there, but now it is getting a little bit warmer. Yeah, it's really sunny. It's really yes. warm. 
I'm wearing this uh, jacket. I would like to talk more about this jacket. What is that yeah. pattern? Pattern? Uh, cotton, uh, maybe. Co cotton. I mean, I mean this pattern. What is that? It's like a flower. Yes, flower. It's and flower use the pattern. embroidery skill to make it. Okay, embroidery. Yes. And this is embroidery, actually. I've yes. been uh, wearing this jacket for two days. I changed my clothes yesterday, of course. Yes. So, and only for the show, only for the live stream. It was so unique and beautiful very nice outfit and i love the pattern is something like a local flower yeah okay i want to say uh, that not the uh -huh. clothes is good because you are good so when you wear the clothes you are good okay thank you so much yeah you can come through okay thank you okay yeah. I w because now i'm standing on bridge i don't want to hold the crowd because they need to travel yeah okay so, uh, so maybe on both sides of the waterway the okay so i think that is the end of our show and uh, thank you so much for joining us for staying with us for cgcn and if you have any questions leave your comments keep commenting on facebook youtube twitter and we'll get back to your questions if, especially you right you are okay. the expert professional okay thank you so much bye bye have a nice day or good night